Judaism, Christianity, or any other religion, you don't need to cover anything up anywhere. If it's there, it's there. Okay. So, you see the problem here. I don't think anyone can miss it. Again, I've had the answer. How do you know Mary didn't have a brother called Aaron? All I know is you know not. Well, okay, again, that's a, yeah, that answer can work, but I don't think it, I think it begs a question. But there's no final arbiter to say whose answer is correct here. So I only say that I honestly don't think that would convince a jury in a courtroom. Your, 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 that jury would say, yes, there is an intent here to be telling uh, the Jesus story, and there is a, a confusion here between the family of Moses and the family of Jesus. Anyway, it is the Jesus story. He hath given me the scripture that appointed me a prophet, line 30. And that's the true prophet ideology of um, the Ebionites. I told you about the Ebionites, the Judeo-Christian groups that disappeared. They thought of Jesus as the primal Adam and the true prophet. They have two doctrines. There it is. And that Jesus was only a prophet, advanced uh, 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 above other men in his practice of righteousness, but uh, 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 Engendered by uh, natural generation only, not supernatural generation. And that's what the Quran doesn't say it's natural generation, it's an inter intermediate position. The Quran says, if Allah wanted to, he could have done it, but he didn't. Because Allah can do anything. He can just say, be, and it is. Remember all those passages? <coughs> but in this case, it just happened. Uh, and he didn't have a father. He doesn't mention Joseph here as a father, notice. And he has secured blessings and so on and so forth. Peace on me the day I was born and the day I may die, that I shall be raised alive. Such was Jesus, son of Mary. A statement of the truth concerning which there is no doubt. But listen, you folks. It befitted not the majesty of Allah that he should take unto himself a son. Glory be to him. He has only to say a thing, and it is. But he didn't do that. That's what he said. He didn't take us on. So Muhammad's a tough guy, isn't he? He's a tough person. He doesn't he doesn't pull any punches. But on some issues, he may be operating from memory. And we'll see that in the Joseph story in a moment. I think we can prove in the Joseph story he's operating from memory. He's embroidering. He's adding. But. His source is not written, and uh, it doesn't mean it's in. Uh, now let's just quickly look at four. This is all the corn I'm going to do. I'll do four, and I'm going to do Joseph, and that's it. And you can do the rest on your own. Let's just quickly run through four on women. I, can, I want to run through this quickly so I get to Joseph before the end of the prayer, okay? Okay. This is about marriage, line three. And if you think you cannot deal fairly with orphans, Marry the women who seem good to you, two, three, or four, but you must treat them justly. Now this is the point that was used by the modernists in the last century in Islam to say that since you can't treat all wives uh, equally, you should only take one wife. They use this to move through the modernist agenda of limiting uh, marriage to one wife in some modernist uh, Islamic countries like Egypt and Lebanon and places like that where modernist in, uh, legislation was introduced not Saudi Arabia, which is uh, uh, Wahhabi, Hanbali, and therefore quite conservative. But in the more, um, in the countries where they were attempting to be more reformist Islam, this was one of the points that they picked up uh, to, to decide. It was Muhammad Abdu in, 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 uh, in, in Egypt who first made this innovation in the 19th century. He was a theologian, philosopher, a jurist, thinker, who was very, uh, you know, trying to be update Islam as best he could. All right, be careful of orphans, line 10, and their wealth. Do not swallow their things, because you will be uh, swallow a burning, uh, a burning flame. 11 is the uh, inheritance scheme, you see. He's got it all laid out, 11 and 12. I can't read it all, but it's got all the numbers, everything. Uh, in terms of, you just, in Islam, Islam, Islam inheritance is taken from this. You don't just give to whoever you want. It's done by the Qadis, the legal system. They're the people who in your state. I think that's good in a way. Son doesn't have to play up to his father and mother to get his, uh, to 
to get his inheritance or a daughter. It's all laid out. Uh, there is a bequeathable, I think it what's it called, the bequeathable third or the bequeathable uh, fifth, I forget which it is, but in any case, there is a part of the estate that can bequeath, depending on which school of Islamic law you belong to, but on the whole, the jurists decide what the estate apportionment is based on some of these uh, uh, passages here in the Quran. Uh, and here about fornication, lewdness 15, if there's some guilty there, call the witnesses that you have against them, and there must be four. Well, to think that Muhammad is cruel to women is, is untrue, because here is an example where he's actually quite lenient. How can you get four witnesses to a sex act? I mean, you know, you're lucky if you can get four, you're lucky if you can get one. So in the Bible, it's only two, you know. And he's toughened it up. And he has some problems here in other surahs where people have accused his favorite wife, um, Aisha, of having had a, uh, an issue when she was coming to his camp, but she was only about 13. And he got very angry about that. And he insisted on the four witnesses. So he's actually... Uh, He's actually quite sympathetic to women in, in the context of his own time. I don't know if that holds up to the, the modern time, the way women are treated and so on. But four witnesses for, well, you see, but people don't treat this in a civil way. They treat this in a, in a, uh, in a traditional way. They even suspect this uh, families will kill a daughter or something like that in the traditional usage. So, but here it says four witnesses, four witnesses. That's not something that can be easily uh, easily found. And that's the official law, but that's not what people observe in the, uh, in the briefs there. I can't read all this. Um, let's see. 36 is another capsule description of behavior. Uh, all the material from uh, 23 on are the forbidden degrees of marriage. Forbidden are your mothers, daughters, sisters, fathers, sisters, mothers, sisters, brothers, daughters. These are legal matters that he's, these are not poetic matters. And the wives of your sons, and he came into some problem as a result with that, with the uh, uh, Zaid issue that I told you about. And, uh, or two sisters at the same time, and so on and so forth. Well, that goes up to 24, 25. So that's all laid out for you, which is why this is called women. Sort of. Look at that, 47, cursed are the Sabbath breakers, 